Hey, what's up guys? Mike Kramer here. Mike is always moving on me, but we're going to talk about today. It's day three of the challenge. It's a five-week call challenge, and we're also reviewing some of the technology that you might be using, especially if you're at eXp, which is KV Core as a CRM and a mobile app dialer that it has, uh, as well as a lead source. So I use MyPlus Leads. You could use a lead source from anywhere. You could even get them free from Fisbo.com. It's S fsbo.com sorry fsbo.com uh, you could go to craigslist you can go to all sorts of places to get fisbo you can also door knock and use a similar script to what i use for calling and what we're talking about today is just some of the challenges we're running into right so if you've tried it hopefully you're doing along with me because everyone has a different experience everyone has different hardware and versions of things so your experience may vary you know, so yesterday we were going doing the KV Core dialer, right? So let's talk about the pros and cons of using the KV Core dialer. Pros of using the KV Core mobile dialer and mobile app is that it will use your cell phone number, your mobile phone number, which, you know, you may or may not want. I prefer it because people will know it's me. They're more likely to pick up. My caller ID shows it's me and everything. And if they call back or text me or whatever, it's my cell phone. So I'll be able to talk to them. And it still gets logged if you're using the KV Core mobile app. It's logging that call, but that's also where my cons come in. So the cons are that for it froze up one, at least once just after two calls. Oh, I lost all my data. So I updated notes, call notes. I also scheduled the call for a couple of weeks from now. I think I changed something else, you know, clicked a couple of things to get logged and it just, it lost all of that and it completely froze up. And I'm on a new iPhone 14, I have the updated latest version of the app. So it could be you know, some, like I said, hardware, software is all different, right? So hopefully it doesn't lock up on you guys, but let me know in the comments if you're having that problem with the Kiwi Core mobile dialer. I did like, again, that it used my cell phone number. I like that you can call by hashtag and just call Fizbo's and it just dials them in a row. Boom, boom, boom. What I didn't like was that it froze up. It locks you out. It goes to the lock screen all the time. So while you're in the middle of using it, it's, it should have in the app to keep the phone awake. That's um, just something the developer needs to add is to keep the phone awake while you're using the app or at least while you're dialing, like actively in dial mode. <laughs> and so it switches to the phone app and that could have perhaps something to do with it. But the other beef I have that KB Core could definitely fix is that it goes to right to the call notes to log the call. So you don't see any of the person's info. You don't see their name, I don't think. Maybe you see their name, but you definitely don't see their address and anything like that. And so that's why I was struggling to try to pull it up then on my computer while calling them on the phone. And it just becomes very cumbersome. So it's almost like the dialer doesn't help you a whole lot because other than you could click and call, which you could do anyway from the app. So the dialer didn't really do much of anything. I'd almost rather click and call from the app once I pulled them up on the, on the screen here. So the other issue is the call notes, right? It's cumbersome to type on an iPhone. You can get a Bluetooth keyboard and stuff like that. But the idea of the app, I get it, is to be mobile. It's if in your car, you want to, you're out, you're out and about, you're mobile, right? And you want to still make calls. I guess it's okay for that, but it's a poor substitute for the desktop version. However, the desktop version doesn't even have a dialer. They say it does, right? But when there's no like auto dialer to go through a list, that's what I mean. So all it does is you can pull up a record and you can sort, of course, by tags on there too on the desktop app. And then you click each number. It's then going to call your cell phone from the smart number. And then it's going to call the client from the smart number. So if you have a shared smart number, which we talked about yesterday, which everyone has unless you pay extra, then I wouldn't recommend that because anyone who calls back that smart number or texts it may get a, another agent in your MRED area, your MLS area from the brokerage. And that's how that works. Now, supposedly they say it goes to the last agent that reached out to the person that has them in the database. Many agents can have the same contact in their database, right? So they always say, well, when the contact reaches back out by calling or texting, it'll go to the agent that last contacted them. But I know a few agents that reached out within an hour and a half, and I just find it very unlikely that all of them had another agent reach out within that hour and a half to warrant, you know, why the client hit another agent and not them. Now, they actually saw it in their KV core. It said, hey, uh, they called and spoke to some other agent, and that's how they knew. And then they reached out to them. 
but I don't like that. So it's to me, it's worth it to pay the $27 a month extra to get your own dedicated smart number if you're going to use that dialer in KV Core. And what's nice about that on the desktop, we're talking about on the desktop now, the pros, right, is that when you click it, it'll open up the call log notes to log the call. And you can see, let's, let's pull it up actually. I'll just show you because it's a desktop, it's easy to share. So if we wanted to call people, we'd go, you could either go to your notifications over here, right? And start calling them here. But as you can see, I don't know the tag. I don't know what type of lead that is. So I prefer to go to the smart CRM, go to filters and go under contact details. And under hashtags, you're going to type FISBO. Now this is case sensitive, which I find a little bit maddening and it doesn't even let you scroll through like available options. So that's a bit maddening as well. And uh, so then we apply filters. So if you don't hit that at the bottom, it won't, it won't actually filter. Now we got a bunch of FISBOs, right? That one doesn't have a name, but so let's click on one with a name. And when I click on them, now I can do a new call up here in the upper right, okay? But first, you know, I got their name. Just want to note that, right? I have an email address, but I'd, I'd want to verify that. I'd prefer them to give me their email address. What I like to do is just do a quick copy, right? Paste that. That way we have it up. Make sure it's the same unit or whatever, 174, yep. Oh, it says number two. So is this number two? That's off market. Here we go, number two on Zillow. All right, so we got number two. We're gonna quickly go through the photos and just look, is it updated or not? It's not It's not bad, not recently updated, but it's, you know, looks pretty clean and everything. We're gonna go to new call and here's the deal, right? So now I can't easily copy this. If I do, it bails out of the new call screen, right? And if I, if I click this, it'll use the smart number. So if you want to do this with either your mobile number or you just don't want to pay for your own dedicated smart number, which I understand when you're starting out, then what you're going to want to do is just, and this has two phone numbers too, by the way, you can still use this, right? We already copied the address and pulled it up over here. So we don't have to really worry about uh, going through here a whole lot. We can still log the call manually and just not do the call now. And that's what I'd recommend if you want to either A, use your cell phone number instead of a smart number, or yeah, so that's what I'd recommend if you don't have a dedicated smart number, you don't want to pay for one for $27 a month, or for some other reason you want to use your mobile number to dial out, I would recommend just dialing the number the hard way from your phone, which kind of sucks. Um, because if you go to KV Core and pull them up just to click it, it's still a few extra clicks to get in there. I mean, you get rid of fat fingering the wrong number, but the con is with that is it'll log another call from your mobile KV Core as well as this manual one. They'll be right next to each other. You'll probably be able to figure out what happened, but it is just mildly annoying, right? Like I wish I had the option in KV Core here to uh, at least I'll try it with my Mac tomorrow. So we're doing this from all different machines just to try it. And the reason I want to try it for my Mac is I have an iPhone. I'm curious if the desktop will somehow let me dial out using my mobile because they're Macs and they talk to each other. I have a feeling they won't unless I find a way to just like right click the number and call it, which the Mac might let me do. So if I do that and say call, that might work. And then what would be cool is it's faster, right? I don't see the option here. It'll be faster. It will eliminate fat fingering. I won't have to click the numbers on my phone. It'll use my mobile phone. So you don't have to pay for your own dedicated smart number. You don't have to use your smart number for that purpose. And you can still log the call manually in here. And then now the other beef I have is I have this really uh, big key, full size key, key keyboard, which I don't know if gamers like, but I think that was the idea It came with a computer. It's very cumbersome for me to type on. I hate it. I trip up on it all the time. I just ordered a new keyboard. It's coming tomorrow because I just can't stand this thing. So you want everything, you want to lower your resistance to dialing, right? We already don't feel like calling people any, anytime. If there's anything in your way, like a 
crappy keyboard, the technology is not working, whatever. Don't use those excuses, just find a way around it, right? And you can reach out to me, I have a tech background, so if you have any questions about how to overcome that, I'm just trying to show you if you're an EXP agent, especially use, or if you use KB Core, what the best plan is here, right? You know, like the mobile app, eh, the desktop by itself, it's lacking as well. So there's pros and cons to each. I think when you're at your desk, I'd rather be in front of this computer to get more info and sound like I know what I'm talking about, sound like the expert to them, well, be the expert to them really, you know, looking at their, their home and being able to pull everything up in their area on the MLS if I wanted, have everything right in front of me. I mean, you could pull up Google Maps, you could have everything, just know that area. Whereas on here, other than logging the call manually and typing, right, and saying contact it or not, there's really nothing I can do. I can call now, but it's going to use my smart number because I didn't decide if I really want my own dedicated one or not. I think it'll be a good idea in the long run, but I, don't, I guess the problem I have with it is even with your dedicated smart number, they text you, right? And then it's like, it's nice that KV Core is logging all the calls and texts by using your smart number. But what I don't like is it's not actually going to your real cell phone number. So it's just less convenient, I guess. You got, It's your business. You got to decide how to operate it. I just want you to have all the information you can so you make a good decision. I haven't made a final decision on this software yet, what I'm going to use for an approach, but I'm, I'm putting it together. And I, I think using my Mac might make the most sense. It would be nice if this desktop works so I could film them. My setup's already here. My Mac's downstairs. But I guess it wouldn't kill me to put the Mac here in front of me to use for these calls. Um, we'll see, right? And th and that's got a – what's funny is I am I got a new keyboard for this computer, and if I end up using the Mac, well, I'm already used to that keyboard, so I wouldn't have needed a new one. But live and learn, right? This one's Windows, by the way, so – I use a Windows for all my editing. It just happened to be a much uh, more affordable gaming machine with a crazy video card memory. All right, guys, apparently there's something called the Phone Link app. So if you just search Windows for Phone Link, let's just check this out. See if this thing works. I clicked it. Where'd it go? Okay. Use your Android phone phone from your PC. I guess they hate Mac people. Yeah, so I think the best we're gonna do here, guys, is, you know, what, I, what I'm what i gonna do, you could try, I recommend trying both to see what works for you, but when I'm at home in front of a computer, I'm gonna pull up Kiwi Core desktop. The thing is like, I could go to Kiwi Core mobile here, right? It's just, it's gonna want me to log it, but that's fine. I mean, I'll have two logs for every person then, but I like having the access to this here. Not only do I have their email address and I have their address, I have this note here, right? This is from my plus leads. It's got the price, 246. It's got two bedroom, three bath. Shows it's a condo built 97. Like it's all right here in front of me on the desktop. I can definitely see the benefit here to having a dedicated smart number in KV Core and it'll call me and then call them. That's really not a bad option. I, I'm starting to really like that because I could use this computer. I could just sit here and log everything. I don't have to do everything twice, but I think what we're gonna do is try the MacBook tomorrow with the iPhone and just see if there's a another option, right? Via the Apple interconnectivity where I can maybe easily do a one-click call from my phone. Uh, just showing you guys a couple methods. I think you should try each one and see what works for you, where it's all about developing systems, right? If you haven't done this before, if you have, you already know how you're dialing, you got that down. We'll just keep going on with the challenge, three hours a day, boom, 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 just banging on the phone, right? Just call and making your calls. Let me know in the comments how many you did today, how many contacts you made what your contacts per hour and your dials per hour are looking like. If you're going to use this, I would say get the $27 a month. Oh, let me show you guys where that was. I, I meant to show you yesterday, and I didn't want to get sidetracked. So uh, just go to Marketplace on the left. <clears throat> then on the right here, you're going to just want to search for smart number. Yeah, and see. So you got smart number here. You can hit learn more, and you'll see... Uh, your own personal lead capturing smart number, blah, blah, blah. Tells you about that. Capture real mobile number. You know, it talks about benefits and it's $27 a month. And that's what I would do. You say get started, preferred area code. Uh, and it even has a bunch of numbers here, which is kind of neat. So 
That's what I'd recommend if you insist on calling from Kiwi Core. It's really not a bad option there. But if you're trying to save money, you're on a budget and all, all that sort of thing, I totally get it. Or if you're not sure how you're going to use it or if you want to use it, that's fine. I would still just go to Smart CR, CRM, Filters, right? Contact Details, Hashtag, and find the one that you want. Yeah, but get familiar with Kiwi Core guys and the contact records in here. If you go from the top, of course, you got the name. Got any info here, you got what kind of lead it is, uh, different hashtags, of course you could add some. Uh, there's qualifications here, right? And you could put you can put a rating on them for how hot they are or how good a lead or whatever you wanna use that for. But um, has a timeline, pre-approved, home to sell, has an agent. And it would log here too, like if they're looking at three bedrooms or ranches or condos, it would say that instead of no activity. So then you could say, I, I see a uh, but mostly looking at condos or whatever. Can I set you up on a property alert? You know, so you have that conversation. If you have a team, it just shows the agent that's assigned here. Uh, a period of the client journey, right? And where they're going from sphere to prospect to new lead. Now, as soon as you, just so you guys are aware, as soon as you mark in here from the call log that you've contacted them, right? And if you, as long as you do not say not home or bad number, if you hit contacted and log any notes or just, just say contacted, it will change it from a prospect or any other status to active lead, just so you're aware. And then you move it to client. Now they're still gonna get, they're gonna marketing campaigns and things like that, uh, or they could, so you wanna check that out. And it's not until they get to client, then they'll stop getting those kind of marketing emails. Because at client contract and close, you don't want them to get emails like, oh, hey, it looks like you're looking at homes when you're, you know, they're an active client of yours. It just look kind of silly. So that's how that works. And just familiarize yourself with this guys and the actions over here, adding a note. I do recommend pinning notes. Uh, so when you add a note here, you could say pin to the top. And I just put my own latest notes there because underneath it, I could look at the activity and then my own personal notes, I just pin to the top. I recommend you do that. You can send a text, send these other things. Some of these are paid additional actions look at the other actions available in here there's just a lot of neat stuff in here that i recommend you guys get familiar with so get familiar with it figure out exactly what you're going to do but this is the week you want to try different things right so that's why i did a five-week challenge instead of a one month 30 day or anything else is this first week is to learn the challenge learn how you're going to get all the resources the scripts and everything else they offer and start using this technology because i'm telling you until you get started you're not going to know how many things break or annoy you or whatever or things that you need just to do this better and it's just about getting a little bit better each day and that's what the challenge is all about and committing to yourself committing the time to grow your business every day every successful agent will tell you that they spent their first you know one year call in some of them just six months and they called regularly three hours a day built their database, their contact CRM so big that they never had to call again. You don't have to do this forever, guys. So just commit to it, build your business, and never you'll get so busy you'll never have to worry about where your deals are coming from again. Just keep up with your sphere after that and you know, following up with the people that are already in your database. So it does get easier, guys. So at least from a prospecting point of view. So all right, I think that's it for today. Just let me know if you had any issues. And uh, we're going to sort this out. We're going to, I'll give you my opinion on whether I like for KV Core, if you like the mobile app, not a huge fan, whether you like the smart dialer from the desktop, which again, I'd only do with a dedicated smart number for $27 a month additional, uh, or some weird hybrid, which I might be able to do with a Mac tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.